Welcome back legends to another Outriders video. Today we're going to be looking at the Trickster Packs tree. This is the final one of the four. This one's coming a little late. I appreciate that and I do apologize for that. I've just been super busy with stuff happening in my day-to-day -day life. But I'm happy to say that this is finally here and we can look into other videos about other stuff going forward. But I do want to give a shout out to Play-Doh Bear for supplying me with these awesome images. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Couldn't have done this video without you. I'll have a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Go give him a check out. Cool dude. Of course, let's get the YouTube stuff out of the way. If you find this video useful, informative, or simply just want to support the channel and get rid of this awesome looking beard, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that post notifications bell so you're notified of all content I release. 12,000 subs is what we need to get rid of the beautiful beard that I've got. If you haven't seen it, check it out on my Twitch channel or some of my earlier YouTube videos. You'll see it there. That said, on with the video. So we have two trees, Spectre and Exploiter. We're gonna look at the Spectre tree first. So the first node we're looking at is Damaged. Damaging enemies with damage skills increases your damage by 15% for five seconds. Now, as you can see most notably, the bullet rounds is there. So your bullet rounds for five seconds are gonna get an increase of 15%. Pretty sweet, and I think that's a very, very nice way to start the tree. Next, we have Adaptation. Activating skills grants you 15% anomaly power or firepower for five seconds, depending on which of them is higher. This is much like the Pyromancer, if I'm not mistaken, that we did last, or was that Technomancer? I believe it was a Pyromancer. It's basically the same skill. Whichever one has a higher rating gets the 15% buff. It gives you some control. Next, we have Reactive Shielding. Activating skills increases your damage mitigation by 5% for 6 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times, so you can get a total of 15% for 6 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Next, we have Phasing. Activating skills grants you 15% shield and 10% shield to allies. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. It's a supportive skill as well, as well as a defensive skill. I, I like it. The Great Expanse, extend the distance considered as close range by 2 meters. This is pretty simple and though it may on paper look like a wasted skill, Tricksters really like the use of close ranged weapons. Shotguns are kind of like their thing and they do a lot of damage with shotguns. So if you can extend that range by 2 meters and not get the bullet dr damage drop off, that is fantastic and it's a lot more powerful than people give it credit for. Next we have Quantum Entanglement. All enemies in close range share 10% of your weapon damage. Okay, okay. So far the Tricksters ones are pretty basic but they're also pretty strong. We have Superposition Movement. Increases your damage mitigation against elites by 20% during and for 3 seconds after using a movement skill. So obviously Tricksters have the ability to teleport from one location to the other. That sort of ability will give you 20% damage mitigation against elites both during the skill and for 3 seconds after to keep you in the game and allow you to refocus your position considering you're probably going to be warping from one place into a crowded area. Pretty cool. Next we have Special Tactics. Damaging Elites increases your damage against Elites by 4% for 3 seconds. Effects can occur once per second and stacks up to 20 times. Whoa! That's a total of 80%. Not bad. Not bad at all. Even if it is for 3 seconds, that is not bad at all. And the effect can occur once per second. Stacks up to 20 times, which clearly means that this refreshes upon each time. I like it, I like it a lot, I like it, I like it a lot. Next we come to Harrowing. Increase your resistance piercing by 10%. Each enemy in close range increases the bonus by 2% up to an additional 10%. So you can get a maximum of 20% resistance piercing. Cool. And finally we come to Spectral Spike. Damaging skills have a 100% chance to deal additional damage equal to 15% of your anomaly power. Consecutive triggers on the same enemy stacks dealing more damage up to 750%. Wow. So naturally, this is increasing your anomaly skill, not your firepower skill. That's pretty damn powerful. It's going all the way up to 750% on consecutive triggers. So you can continuously apply this. That's really, really good. Right, now we go over to the bottom tree for Exploiter. We have Trigger Man. Your damage is increased by 10% for each skill on cooldown. Okay. Cheap shot. 
Your class melee skill lowers damaged enemies armor and resistance by 30% for 4 seconds. This is actually really powerful, especially in like a group environment. If you go punch and then devastators add bleed, technomancers add toxic, pyromancers burn. They're all doing, you know, 30% more damage because their resistance is lower. That's really, really good. And then you've got the damage reduction, so any bullets or physical attacks going into them is also doing a lot more damage. I like it. Lies, Deception. Activating Deception skills grants you 25% shield every one second for four seconds. Let me read this again. Activating Deception skills grants you 25% shield every one second for four seconds. I'm curious, is this 25% times four? So by the fourth second, you'll have 100% shield? Or is this a case of it just renews the 25% each time every one second for four seconds? It'll be interesting to see. I think it's the latter because that makes more sense, especially if you're in combat anyway. When you're using this, it's just going to renew it every second. That makes a lot more sense to me. Fail safe protocols. When your health drops below 30%, get 100% shield and 30% damage mitigation for three seconds. Fail safe protocols can be triggered every 10 seconds. That's actually pretty good to stay, to stay you know, in the game. Rigged game. Activating skills increases your critical damage by 10% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times so you can get 30% critical damage. Cool beans. Infinity Slinger! Sidearm weapons do not consume ammo during and for 4 seconds after using a movement skill. Well, if you're low on ammo, I guess this is always an option, especially if you've got a full auto sidearm. This one can fire for days, considering sidearms run out of bullets within like a couple of seconds. This is this is actually okay, but I'm not really seeing anything super special here. Goals beyond understanding. Damage done to elites tagged with deception skills has a 25% chance to be increased by 200%. That's really good. That's 200% extra damage, but it does have a 25% chance, which means it's a one in four chance, which is okay, but not great. It could have been better. I think it should have been 50-50. That would have been a better option. Meticulous Schema. 200% of killing damage on enemies tagged with deception skills is divided amongst other tagged enemies, making it AOE so they all take damage. Power Overwhelming increases your firepower by 40% of your anomaly power when using an assault weapon. So not a shotgun, which is what this class wants to use. It's really weird. I'm really, I mean, this is honestly the worst tree of all, in my opinion. Finally, we come to Exploiter, Perpetuum Trickery. Critical shots increase your anomaly power by 12%, stacking up to five times. The stacks are consumed by the next damage skill you use. Activating damage skills increases your assault weapon damage by 30% for 7 seconds. Now when you're looking at it on face value, I mean I'm not a trickster so I'm definitely not the best person to be making this judgement call, but it does in my opinion look like the weakest tree of them all. I mean I'm seeing some cool stuff there with the anomaly and damage increase and the way it's positioned. Maybe tricksters were just in such a good place they couldn't really tweak it anymore to make it completely overpowered. I don't know, if there are tricks the mains out there that are watching this, let me know in the comment section below because like I said, I'm not a I'm not a trickster. Uh tricks is probably the least class I've played, and I don't have the full background knowledge here. Just based on some of the stats that I've been reading, there are some really high points, some really low points, but mainly anomaly points here. And most of the tricks the builds that I've seen around on YouTube and everywhere else, most people go for that firepower build to get that 5, 10 million damage on shotgun shots. So you let me know in the comment section below what you think. As a trickster, are you happy with this pack's tree? Are you not happy with it? Are you a firepower build, a anomaly build? Let me know because I'd love to hear from you guys because like I said, I'm personally not a trickster. It's the least class I've played and honestly, I found this a little underwhelming compared to the others, but maybe that's just because trickster is in such a good place that it doesn't need to be overpowered anymore and these just supplement the actual class to make it that bit better. Well, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. As always, stay frosty and remain legend. Peace out.